everybody, it's V Game Master here. And Rosefire K4, and today we are explaining to you the potential script and ratings. For Ace of Spades Bonfire. First one up is Silent Moon. Yes, we've seen two parts of it already, but the other two parts are potentially going to be in production. There's five parts, but the fifth part we're going to need your support on. This is, this is rated PG for parental guidance because of mild fantasy violence and pill and drug references here and there. Yeah, it's okay guys. It's honestly not that show. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It's not really showing it, but yes, there's some intentions with it. Yeah, so again, that's why it's rated PG. It's not terrible, but it's not good. But like you've seen before, Lucy's trying to stop the zombie apocalypse from happening. Yeah. <laughs> and Yes, she's kind of a kick butt character. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> she tries to be all, like, mysterious and stuff, but she can't top the mysterious man. Like, come on, y'all. Yeah, who can? <laughs> no one can. The next script that we're going to be doing, is, since we this one is a shorter one because, you know, you've seen part two, one and two, hopefully. So the next script we're going to be doing is The Attachment, subtitled for Broken Hearts and Broken Promises. And this one is pretty weird. So, since the game, you were the one who actually created this script and wanting our friends to do this, how about you explain it? Pretty much, this little girl gets cursed, and her curse is the love. If her love of her life dies, she'll die the same painful death. Yeah. And she has to protect a her loved one, and b her life because everybody else is trying to kill her as well god that sounds scary and so what's the rating on it it's rated pg-13 yes Defin it's definitely rated pg-13 because guess what there are some torture scenes guys everybody loves those don't you but if you look at it though from an esrb standpoint or not esrb whatever the movie rating standpoint <laughs> It actually would be rated R because of the F bombs. There's a couple of them. Yeah, but but everybody <laughs> loves a good F bomb, right? But it's rated it for coarse language, mild potential nudity. mild nudity, and mild gore. Yeah, I just hope they don't show boobs. <laughs> we don't know that yet. Oh. Oh God, I'm scared. But hey, I mean, you never know. But hey, the attachment is another option that you guys have. Mm-hmm. What's next? Next is Pokemon The World's Book Collide. This is one that we've been talking about, but we've been very skeptical of because of all the stuff that potentially could go wrong and how long production could take, as well as the fact that it may not be interesting to some of the viewers. Yeah, and if you think about it, we're going to have to do like CGI to it. Mm -hmm. A lot of CGI. And every frame you, you would have to edit, so it would take years like honestly i think if we really did if they really did the script i'm sorry we do some editing for it um well for them i think if we were to help along with the editing process and all it would probably take us probably a good year and a half yeah for just the whole acting of it and then along the way doing some Well, I've gotten editing. hints and facts that part one of the script is not even done and it's already over 60 pages. Oh gosh, how many parts do you think they're going to be doing for it? Uh, I'm guessing six, because there's six generations. Oh shoot, yeah. Th yeah, that would be really... Uh... A really long project. Yeah, so... But, if they... you guys pick it, you guys pick it. <laughs> yeah, I honestly... <laughs> don't think they would even be able to I think that would be a lot longer than just a movie. It it will it be. be. It will be like, six different movies. Yeah, it has to be like six different movies. And then also, like, the time uh -huh. that is consumed with that would take up a lot. It so, would. So, what's the contact? The rating? G. The content rating. I'm sorry. G. Rated G for anybody can watch it. The only thing is, is there's 
mild fan. There's fantasy violence. When two animals, whatever, Pokemon battle each other, there's got to be some violence there. Yeah, there's some steel types. <laughs> metal. How the heck does metal come to life? That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, there's a lot. Or a rock. Go, go, um! You look <laughs> like a Pokeball! <laughs> but, yeah, that's the one that we gotta think about. And you guys gotta think about as well. Another one, the Barbarian. And this is actually one of the pop, well, one of the popular games. Um, Clash of Clans? Yep. Yeah. I don't play it, but my bro over here, V Game Master, does. Yeah. He can tell you all about it. I could. But, so pretty much, you're living the life. Um, in a perspective view of Gustav, the Barbarian. Oh and, my gosh. <laughs> and this Gustav character is trying to help defend his city so it can grow to be the best town hall it can be. Mm -hmm. And be the best city it can be. Make it, even make it to Legends League oh, with wow. no trouble. And be a legend full of city. Full what? of city. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? Our grammar is horrible. If you've seen our previous episodes. <laughs> oh my gosh, our grammar could be so bad. At points, yeah. So this PG. PG. Yeah, everybody would expect that to be PG. Small nudity belly. Is it just a belly, y'all? It's the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie has her belly showing. What about the witch? The witch didn't have her belly showing. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I thought she showed boobs. No, I think she might have mild cleavage, but I don't think so. Mm -hmm. and, and there's fight scenes, and of course, there's gonna be not not little blood as I preferred. It's gonna be blood and gore, but not massive to make a PG-13. Yeah. Okay. The title is not Astro Warriors: The Mega Cartridge. It's my ticket out. Yeah, we forgot. I think we did we put that in there. Uh huh. Did we, put we didn't put the title in there, oh, but <laughs> it's my ticket out, guys. Not Astro Warrior the Megas the cartridge <laughs> ticket. <laughs> Sorry, we, but we didn't plan this out very well. Ooh. But Ooh. this one, so Mexico, you know, there's this trouble going on apparently where Me people from Mexico are transporting to the U.S. This is the exact opposite problem. <laughs> Where Josine and her mother Teresa are trying to go to Mexico, but the problem is, is they live in Seattle and they cannot swim. Oh God! Because it's illegal, as well as schools being taken down and nobody's learning. Their whole life is pretty much a video game. They're sitting here playing Astro Warrior, and if they're not, if they're in last place, they die. Torture. That is so sad. It, this is going to be a sad movie, but it's going to be a good movie. Sadly, honestly. I think I wouldn't even be able to beat it. Like, do anything You can't it. beat that game. It infinitely... It, 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 it infinitely loops. That would just give me a headache! <laughs> That's all I'm going to say! I'd probably be playing like... <laughs> like an hour later. Ugh. <laughs> just dead but it's rated PG because mild intense scenes which pretty much is the torture scenes and the death I swear we have a lot of torture things we got morbid minds okay this next one I hope is the next one is probably my favorite script that they had the five nights at Freddy's 2 did I spell it that right yeah no F I think, isn't it F R E D D Y S? Yeah. But that's what it's. That's the proper grammar, guys. This is what it's supposed to be properly, but it's Five Nights at Freddy's, like how you spell it normally. Five Nights, and mind you, look at what's below. A two. Yeah, this is the, actually the second one. So the first one stars Brie, and she's just kind of doing whatever, and it's really a funny video. And that was the first one. This one's the second way one. more serious, is what I've heard. Uh huh. And also, from the script, just reading it, also shows that there's a lot of gore. 
Yes, as you can tell by the rating. Yes, it is rated, rated R. So why would you think a Five Nights at Freddy's movie would be rated R? Well, obvious. There's a lot of gore. There's mild language. Intense scenes. Very, well, there's very low nudity. It's a shirtless man. Yeah. Shirtless man. Hot. <laughs> well, wait. <laughs> Frank, I was not trying to say it like that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't. I just thought of. I was thinking of Jacob. I'm sorry. I'm a Twilight girl. I wasn't trying to. I swear. But yeah, it's very gory, like to the extreme. So people who like gore is gonna really love this. Mm -hmm. But like we said. That this is pretty much a group of five friends. It, it twists the whole finance parties where you're the one security guard. Plus, the pro there's a malfunctioning problem with the um, cameras. Six friends. Might be six, but five or six. Yeah, it's something like that. Again, we don't really do much. We just kind of stay here in the background watching as our friends are doing all this stuff. And. Again, we don't like to show our faces. Mm hmm So. But, like I said, a lot of gore, a lot of everything. They, uh, and this is going to be one of those scripts that people are going to enjoy. Hopefully. Hopefully. But because this is very outdated. Let, let's face it, Fragments of Freddy's, wasn't that like a year, almost a year ago? That when everybody was in crazy, August. crazy? Yeah, August. August of last year. Yeah. So it's... Again, very outdated. It's not going to be like a new, full, fresh thing. Except for but, the movie hasn't the, the movie hasn't came out yet, and it's supposed to come out in 2017. Yeah, true. So we might actually have a movie done before Scott Cawthon does. Yeah. It, it all depends on what your guys' point of view is. Like, if you want us to do this one now, or if you want some of the previous ones. Again, Silent Moon is in the making, so... So, yeah. But still, we got this. I think that it's going to be fun to see what you guys choose. And obviously, what you guys choose is, is what what's we'll going to be done. So, we don't know. But we'll see you guys in the next video, which will be coming up shortly as well. Alright, guys. See ya! See ya!